How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fuzzy. What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is a day of another day of another day that we call Wednesday. Anybody been said what's going to be for who's about to do anything as far as being safe and prosperity on this day? Um, I want to talk to you about some good news. If it's a transgender woman, she's out here. She's 15 years old. Her name is Andrea Yearwood. And here is her story. A transgender teen athlete is an inspiration. Now, this is what the story says. Last week, a transgender in Connecticut student ran for her first track meet against other girls. It is also her first high school competition, but despite the newsness of a tinting nerves, 15-year-old Andrea Yearwood took home two first place ribbons and the support of her new team. I'm so happy and so excited to be doing this and so thankful all of my support. Andrea told um, Crawford Corrent, the Coral High School freshman came out to her parents in middle school when she ran for the boys team and she planned to start taking hormone blockers soon. In her first race of the high school track season, Yearwood won the girls 100 to 200 meters dash with times of 11.99 seconds, 26.34 respectively. I do hope I inspire people, but not only with track, Andrea said, I Hope inspires people to not hold themselves back just because you're scared of what it is you, um, you're doing in the first place, but because of people negativity. Our people negativity is something Andre and her family are prepared for, especially since she's preparing so well so early in Harford um, Corinth notes that her 100 meter time is just one, excuse me, 0. 0.0 seconds behind the winning time that the race at last year's state open. Now, Andrea, especially times were under less than ideal conditions. It was cold. She didn't have strong blocks. I know they'll say it's unfair and not fair, but my counter to is that why not? Her mother told the newspaper she's competing and practicing and giving her all and performances and excellent based on her skills let that be enough let her do that and be proud of that the school district seems to be doing just that andrea didn't run into any problems joining this girls track team and she's enjoying the support of her coaching teammates she's just been a member of the team running hard day in and out says coach brian callham said it has been like every other athlete we have a girl on the team who runs pretty quick and it and I think that the girls are pretty happy to have a girl on the team that runs pretty quickly. It is going to be a positive thing for the whole team. Now the teammates friend um Sophia told Hartford Corinth that she admires Andrea's courage and I definitely think that she is an inspiration for people. She said I think that Andrea is very brave and has a lot of goals to go out to the world where it is not always supportive and positive. Andre is the first trans student athlete in the high school, but officials from Connecticut enter scholarships, a left, I mean, um, athletic community, athletic conference don't believe that she's the first trans athlete to participate in the CIAC St. Jim sport. Of course, that is not the sort of thing that she that the organization keeps a record. The CIAC handbook makes it clear that denying transgender students the right to participate in school sports on the team is allied with um, gender and a just and violation of the state and federal laws. The conference takes schools at their word on the gender um, student gender athlete. And elsewhere in the country, school districts, athletic association, and even state makers are gripping whether and how to include transgender students on sex segregated sports team. In one case that has been drawing national attention, a transgender high school wrestler 
who was asked to compete with other boys but was forced to wrestle with the girls won the Texas State competition much to the charges of athletic and parents. We recently won the right to compete with boys outside of the season, the school season. You know, so congratulations, girl. Congratulations. Okay, so then, congratulations, sis. Um, welcome to womanhood. Um, hopefully, um, she's going to get the proper support and everything, the proper hormones that she needs as far as her transgender, you know, her new life as far as womanhood and stuff, you know. It is definitely, you know, um, a struggle living in your truth and being so young is very, you know, encouraging to a lot of younger girls out there as well as guys, you know, basically who are trans that's trying to, you know, send a positive message in reference to, you know, being true to you and no matter what the odds that go against you, you still stand in your truth. You know, and, and it sounds to me like she has the right support, support team, you know, around her and stuff. So congratulations, sis. You know, 15 years old, 15 years old. Yeah, I just want to share this story with you and stuff. I didn't want to make this video longer than it already is and stuff, you know. Um, I'm kind of having one of those type of days, if you know what I mean. Um, I guess I'll just tell you. I didn't want to put it in this video, but I'll just tell you. Nobody ever will. Just let this baby have this video. Well, this young woman have this video for herself. You know, and anybody want to be inspired as far as standing true to you and stuff. And, you know, they want to be an athlete. She is a, um, a hero to a lot of you, you know, who are worried about what someone may say or, you know, what someone may do. She's showing you she's doing it. The media has loved her and took her out. Now, there was another trans man that was out there as far as, you know, he was out there doing this thing. Well, now, I didn't know about him, but I found him as a day and it was Mac. You know, congratulations, my brother. You out there, you won, you know, as far as being a wrestler. You know, so, you know, just keep pushing through, people. You remember, you are the future. And a lot of things that you're doing can actually stop a lot of, you know, negativity within the world. We won't stop everything, but it can be a little leniently, leniently towards being, you know, much more accepting than not understanding something that's like you. Anyway, that being said, I just want to share this thing with you. And I want to let you know that I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Catch the rain.